documentary review, and this is When We Were Kings, uh, the documentary about the Muhammad Ali George Foreman fight, commonly known as the Rumble in the Jungle. Um, the yellow price tag is because uh, I clearly bought this from Cobb Records and Manga. It's no longer there, unfortunately. Um, it should have become a landmark. The fight itself was mild in controversy. The run-up to the fight was mild in controversy. Um, what I will say is this. If you watch the fight itself, this is where Muhammad Ali debuted the famous rope-a-dope, where he just hung back on the ropes. George Foreman punched himself out, and then, boom, a right from Muhammad Ali drops him. There's a beautiful bit of strategy with that, in that the only punch Ali kept throwing was the right. So the reason why that's beautiful is because uh, I think at the time George Foreman's uh, sparring partners were getting either fifty dollars a day or seventy-five dollars a day. To lead with your rear hand is incredibly offensive to a professional because my hand has to come from back here. It's got to clear the distance of my body, then it's on its way to you. So my lead hand is just pop. My rear hand has got to come all the way from there. And Muhammad Ali knew that for such pitiful pay a day, none of the sparring partners were going to want to offend George Foreman by throwing an insult and punch at him. The result of that, the only punch George Foreman wouldn't be trained to take or to get out of the way of was that one punch. So it was a punch that kept getting through, and it kept upsetting and insulting George Foreman, and it wound Foreman up. Now, I will say, if you watch the fight in the end of the fight, when Foreman goes down, Watch the count, watch the referee do the count because he goes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seriously, watch it. The, the la eight, nine, and ten come as one. There's no gap between them. Um, another interesting thing is at the very end, everyone crowds in the ring. You see Muhammad Ali walk across the ring and you'll watch him go because he, he faints, he passes out. Um, had that fight gone one more round, Muhammad Ali would have been probably very, very, very seriously injured. I personally think it's ridiculous to have full contact fights like that in that type of heat. If it's an indoor sort of stage or arena where you've got air conditioning going through, it's slightly different. But that was an open air concert, and there wasn't enough of a breeze. Concert? Open air show. There wasn't enough of a breeze, and both men got very, very badly hurt and had long lasting injuries from it. It's definitely worth having a watch. Let's face it, you know, we're all going to be on lockdown for a while. Um, it's probably going to be another spike pretty soon because everyone's going to the pub. How can that go wrong? Nothing bad ever happens in a bar, does it? It's a very good documentary. It's not an overly long documentary. I think it's only about an hour and a half. Uh, an hour and 24 minutes. It's also got, of course, concert footage from James Brown. Um, he wasn't on anything. He was, Han the Lord! Han the Lord! Uh, off his face on everything he could get hold of. Um, am I going to get in trouble for that? Yeah. If you get a chance to watch it, watch it. It's a very good documentary. I can't rate it highly enough. <laughs>